I've been watching Felicia Day's The Vlog. On last Monday's episode, one of Felicia's fave five was the Smitten Kitchen food and cooking blog at smittenkitchen.com, particularly the blood orange olive oil cake. Because of Felicia's magical powers of hypnosis, I've decided to make this video of myself making the cake for her, though really for me because it'll probably be eaten if and when she ever sees this video. First step is the most important. Pour yourself a glass of wine. Cheers! Now we can start cooking. Unfortunately, I couldn't get blood orange at this time of year, but I have this amazing blood orange olive oil from a local farm, so hopefully that'll make up for the shortcoming. First, you'll add the zest of the oranges to the sugar. I've done one already, and I'll do one more. And just tap it in. Once you have it in, just mix it all together. So now we are cutting the oranges into segments. Just cut the top and bottom off an orange so it'll lie flat. Then run your knife down the sides of the orange to get off the peel and all of the white part. Once the oranges are all cut out, just put them in a bowl and then break them up into little chunks just with your fingers. Take the third orange and just squeeze the juice into your buttermilk to make orange flavored milk. Get a large bowl and add three eggs. I like to crack them into another bowl to make sure I didn't get any shell in there. And then you're going to whisk in that sugar we prepared earlier. as well as your buttermilk and orange juice mixture. We're also going to add our blood orange olive oil into this mixture. And whisk it one more time. Now, take your flour, add in your pre-measured baking powder, baking soda, and your salt, and just give that a quick mix together. Now we're going to fold that whole mixture uh, about half at a time into our wet ingredients. Last step is to pour the orange segments that we prepared earlier into our batter and just fold them in. Don't want to mix too much at this point or else you could make your cake batter too stiff. You pour the batter into a buttered loaf pan. Pop this into a 350 degree oven. So it's 50 minutes and half a bottle of wine later, and we're gonna make our toppings. Now I didn't read the recipe completely in advance, so I don't have the fancy orange compo topping, but whatever, we'll make up for it with homemade whipped cream. So I've got a cup of heavy whipping cream, putting into the container of my gourmet whip, instant whipped cream maker. I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of powdered sugar, and since we're making an orange cake, I've got some orange extract, and we're going to use half a teaspoon of that. And then get our nitrous cartridge, and the magic begins. Just shake it up a few times. Instant whipped cream. Mm. And there is our lovely cake. And let's see how we did. through really well but it's not really overpowering. It's nice and moist and it's low fat because we used our olive oil. So if you want some cake Felicia come and get it. <laughs>